Now let us look at the day-to-day -day repairs and maintenance of a cooperative housing society. I will be elaborating here as to which things have to be attended to by the society management and which things have to be attended by the individual member. While doing so, as the list is a bit large, I may refer to my laptop, so please bear with me. Section 160A of the bylaws defines as to which sections of the society fall into the day-to-day -day repairs of the society and the society management has to attend to them. All the internal roads of the society, all compound walls of the society, all external water pipes of the society buildings, all the water pumps in a society, all the water storage tanks of the society, underground as well as the above rooftop tanks, all drainage lines in a society, all septic tanks of the society, all the staircases in a society building, all terraces and the subsequent parapet walls near the terraces, the roofs of the flats and that when I say the roof, it is only the roofs of the top floor of the flats, all the lights in a staircase of the building, all the street lights in the compound of the society, all the outside walls of the building of the society, all leakages of water caused in the building of a society, all the electric lines and main switches which come up to the flats of the buildings, all the lifts of the society, all the roofs of the flat and ceiling and plaster thereon on the top floor of a building on account of which leakages occur from the terrace of, from the, of the building. All these items have to be looked and maintained by the society at its own cost. Things which have not fallen in this particular list, I have to be looked after by the individual member. External leakages have to be looked after and maintained by the society at society's call. While the internal leakage is happening, that is from one flat to another flat, typically these leakages happen from the bathrooms. Such leakages have to be administered by the source of that leakage at his own cost. So these are the areas of repairs and maintenance which occur on a regular basis in a cooperative society. If all the members cooperate with each other, I think the society can live harmoniously and happily. Thank you.